today. Um, but that didn't surprise anyone, <laughs> so whatever. Okay, so, um, so I just want to say, like, everyone is going to die, but um, no one knows what will happen to us, like, after we die. In many, in many religions around the world, such as Buddhism and um, Hinduism, we they have like uh, a lot a variety a variety of differences in that belief um, and rituals and ceremony and so on and so forth. So we'll be fast forwarding time to see what's going to happen to us. Like uh, we'll be fast forward forwarding time to see what's going to happen to us. Like um, after we die today. So we'll start off with. Um, uh, the Buddhism perspective. Oh, okay. that's a that's a Hinduism. But I'll just say it. Um, let me give you an example. So for Hinduism, there's a there's a part there's a part where it differs from um, Buddhism in which um, in which well uh, Buddhism has only one one factor that determines the the death and uh, death and birth, which is karma. Um, uh, Hinduism has four four major factors, which the first one involves dharma or refers to or refers to the rule uh, that is an example of virtues and ideal behavior in which uh, I'll give example of it. examples like um, the parent where who were believed to be um, a representative of God who came down to take care of their children and that's their role and as as in return the children as, 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 as in return, the children are supposed to um, obey and thank their parents. Um, as, as a as a thank you or something like that um, for their for their care. Um, karma, just like just like the Buddhism perspective, uh, but it 
it actually involves with uh, Dharma as well as like that they believe that a parent who didn't take good care of their children um, will will affect will will get will get a bad karma instead of a good karma. And for Maya, illusion refers to people in ordinate over external values such as wealth, reputation, and looks. And the last one, Atma, or the soul, refers to how one is not only an individual but part of the family, community, and the universe. So, Hinduism, so by these four, Hinduism believes that um, that these four factors are the main, the major influence in um, determining whether you are going to heaven or hell, or, or are you going, or are you going to um, die peacefully or not? Um, that uh, in Hinduism, that is the, uh, there is only two types of death, which is like good or bad. In <clears throat> uh, in typical type of the good death, it means that. Um, the first thing is the the family of the deceased person needs to be ready to uh, they are prepared to face that they, they are prepared for the person's death and they know it. Uh, the second is that the dead person um, is, also, uh, is supposed to be ready and not die uh, traumatically. And the third is. Um, they are held for ceremony, in a ceremony. Yeah. And they also believe that, um, and they also believe that uh, people who live uh, above, above uh, the age of 90 are considered, um, they live a full life in which <laughs> they live a full life in which um, if those people die, they will hold a ceremony uh, in, in order to give them a respect or something. Well, yeah. So in the end, I want to conclude that uh, whatever in whatever religion you are, it is inevitable to escape that. But However, in, if you uh, concede in a religion, in, in a religion, whether it's Buddhism or Hinduism, you can choose your own path of death. Um, uh, even though it leads to a different ending. I mean, well, you do good, you die good. So, that's it for today.